Hello, and thanks for tuning in to Ask the DAE. Today, we're going to talk about managing your email. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I'm absolutely terrible at managing my inbox. Generally speaking, when I receive an email, I respond to it and just sort of leave it sitting in my inbox, which is why I have over 4,000 emails just kind of hanging out in there, probably dating back to somewhere around 2010. However, I've recently come up with a pretty cool technique that's been working pretty well for me for staying on top of my current emails. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that today using something called a smart mailbox in Apple Mail. Now, before we get into the technique, I want to talk about what a smart mailbox is. A smart mailbox is a folder in email that basically allows you to look at a very specific cross section of your email. What I mean by that is you can set up a folder that only displays emails from a certain person or a folder that only displays messages of a certain subject or emails that have been received in a certain date range or any combination of the, of the three that I just mentioned as well as a number of other criteria. So in other words, it's basically a folder that you set rules for and the email that meet those rules will show up. It's all automated and it's all pretty cool. Now what I've done is I've created three smart mailboxes, one titled today, one titled this week, and one titled this month. They do kind of what they sound like they do. The smart mailbox is uh, that's titled today is only the emails that I've received today. Uh, the one titled this week is emails from this week, and this month is emails from this month. Uh, what that allows me to do is it allows me to segment my inbox into three sub inboxes. So I have the most urgent emails, the slightly less urgent emails, and then the even further slightly less urgent emails, which for me has been a very simplified workflow for managing my email. Uh, instead of having to look in an inbox of over 4,000 emails, I can look in an inbox of 15 or 20 emails that I've received today. I can uh, reply to them or delete them or quickly file them away if need be and that way I have a very clean working inbox for today's emails. Once I get through those emails I then drop over to this week and anything that's been residing in my inbox for a bit longer than just a few days I can deal with so on and so forth to the month. So let's take a look at how to set that up. So to create a smart mailbox you're going to come down to the bottom left corner of your screen click the plus sign and you'll get an option that says either new mailbox or new smart mailbox. So I'm going to click on new smart mailbox and this box pops up over here. Now first thing we're going to do is title it. We're going to call it today. Now this section over here is the uh, section that refers to the rules. Uh, what conditions need to be met for an email to show up in the today smart mailbox. So I'm going to set two conditions. The first one is um, we're going to make sure that the message is in a specific mailbox and that mailbox is going to be the inbox. So what this means is this will pull in any email that's in my inbox. Now we're going to set a second rule by hitting this plus sign off to the right that says the date received is today. So now any email that's in my inbox that was received today is going to show up in the today smart mailbox. The reason why we have to set the messages in the mailbox rule is if you don't set that it will also check all of my email folders down the left side of the screen and even possibly my trash and my sent box. So I don't want to see any of that. I just want to see what's in my inbox. That's why you set this first rule. So I'm going to select OK and on the side of the screen over here on the left side I get a smart mailbox titled today and I see only the emails that I've received today. Let's repeat the process for this week. I come down to the plus sign, new smart mailbox. I title it this week. Message is in my inbox. Second rule, date received is this week. I hit OK. And now you'll see I have a second smart mailbox with only messages that I've received this week. Once again, plus sign, new smart mailbox. We're going to call it this, whoops, this month.
messages in mailbox, make sure the mailbox is set to inbox. New rule, date received. Now in this case, instead of saying is today or is yesterday or this is this week, we're going to say is in the last, sorry, in the last one month. And now I've got today, this week, this month. So now, when I receive email, instead of going to my inbox, I go to today, and it shows only the emails I've gotten today. I can reply to them, delete them, or file them. Once this is empty, I switch to this week, and I deal with any that have sort of lingered over the past few days, and so on and so forth. Now, I find segmenting my inbox into these priorities very, very helpful for me because it sets a very simple workflow for managing my email. I deal with the emails from today, I de deal with any emails that are hanging out from the week, and if I have time, I'll go over to this month. Um, it works really well for me, but I will tell you that it does require the discipline to actually use these mailboxes. So I would definitely suggest you set up these three and think to yourself when you go to check your email, don't check the inbox, check the today mailbox, and then fall into this week and this month. Now, if you have any further questions about this, you can reach out to us via email at info at the DAE.com. Or if you'd like to suggest topics for future videos, you can tweet at the DA experience, hashtag ask the DAE. Thanks so much for tuning in.